Hello everyone, this is Indra, working as Assistant Professor in Department of Nutrition and Dietetics at KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Today we are going to discuss about diet and diabetes mellitus. Diabetes mellitus, it is commonly used in the term as sugar. It is not a disease, it is a disorder. This diabetes mellitus is a chronic metabolic disorder that prevents the body to utilize glucose completely or partially. It is characterized by raised glucose concentration in the blood and alteration in the metabolism of carbohydrate, protein and fat. This condition can be to failure in the formation of insulin or liberation or action. Insulin, it is produced by beta cells of islets of Langerhans present in pancreas. Any decrease in the number of functioning cells will decrease the amount of insulin that can be synthesized. This chart represents the blood glucose level during fasting and postprandial level. Types There are commonly two types of diabetes mellitus and the third one which is occur during the time of pregnancy period which is also known as gestational diabetes. Type 1 diabetes. It is also known as juvenile onset diabetes or insulin dependent diabetes. It is usually sudden onset and occur in the younger age group. It is an autoimmune disease. The child which is usually observed as underweight. Acidosis is fairly common in this type. Type 2. It is also known as adult onset diabetes or non-insulin diabetes mellitus. It is most common and develops slowly, milder and more stable. Insulin may be produced by pancreas but the action is impaired. It is formed mainly in adult and the person is usually overweight. Acidosis is infrequent. Majority of people in the world wide have two type 2 diabetes mellitus. Causes Type 1 diabetes mellitus is caused by genes, environmental factors such as virus that might trigger the disease. Physical injury, surgery and emotional distress sometimes proceed the symptom of type 1 diabetes. Type 2 diabetes. It is most common form of diabetes caused by several factors including lifestyle factors and genes. Higher intake of refined grains which have higher glycemic index such as white, white rice combined with sedentary life is main cause of obesity, diabetes and cardiovascular disease. The next one is symptoms. Symptoms like hyperglycemia, glycosuria, fluid and electrolyte imbalance, acidosis, polyuria and nocturia, polydipsia, polyphagia, dehydration, fatigue and weight loss, increased excretion of potassium, magnesium and phosphorus found in the blood. Complications. There are two major complications. Microvascular complication, macrovascular complication. Microvascular complications involving small vessels such as capillaries. Whereas macrovascular complications involving large vessels such as arteries and veins. The three main complications found in microvascular disease are retinopathy which is damage to the eye, nephropathy which is a damage to kidney, neuropathy which is a damage to nerve dis disease. The macrovascular complications such as vas cerebrovascular disease, risk of stroke, brain stroke, cardiovascular disease, risk of heart attack, peripheral vascular disease, poor circulation to the limb. The next one is Dietary management, low energy, low carbohydrate, moderate protein, low fat and moderate sodium and high fiber diet is recommended for the patient suffering from diabetes mellitus. The calories required for an adult, the calorie required per day, the calories required per day is 1600 kilocalories and carbohydrate about 250 gram per day and Protein about 40 to 45 gram per day. Dietary guidance. Here the list of foods to be included, permitted and eaten in moderate, moderate level for the patient suffering from diabetes. Thank you.